Hello everyone and welcome to another Versus video. I am BBD and I am joined once again, and by that I mean by the for the first time, yeah, by Mr. Tom Ross. What's up everybody? It's my second video here. Did the other one with Brad. Probably came up a couple days ago, maybe a week ago, who knows. Yeah, so Tom is here and he's going to be doing some sweet Versus videos with us. Uh, I'm going to have to show him how things are done, you know, beat him down a bit, but, uh, mm -hmm. you know, other than that, it's basically just another day in the office, so... Uh, I'm going to be battling with Abzan Reanimator, which is a deck that won the last open, uh, Oliver Tamaho, and it is looks like a pretty sweet list, actually. It has access to, like, Den Protector, which seems really cool when you're dumping a bunch of cards in your graveyard with things like Commune with the Gods, so pretty excited to play that. Tom, what are you battling with? I got my own Bant Heroic deck here, <gasps> where I... No! I yeah. top uh, <laughs> the open in Syracuse with it. And uh, it's been doing well outside of my own hands. I uh, got ninth at Grand Prix Krakow, won some game days, BTQs, and some uh, some IQs around around the United States. So, all right, seems, putting up some numbers. Seems I still like I think it's good. Seems like a pretty sweet list. Uh, definitely a Tom Ross deck. So, uh, we'll have to get to battles and see uh, who can reign supreme. Right on. Right on. All right, we're gonna start things off with the uh, good old classic high roll, but uh, got one other rule: is that aces beats twelve and everything else. All right, so I'm actually rooting for a super low roll here. All right, five, seven. All right, you got, you got it. Seven. Should have played the seventh game, man. Sure. Would have been great. This end has basically what we're looking for: one drop and a little bit of action. All right, this hand is basically every hand that I've ever kept in my life. It's uh, one lands and <laughs> Sylvan carry it, so we're going to hope hopefully get there, but I'm going to keep it. All right. I'm going to give me a plane to play a note for. All right, that seems, <laughs> seems pretty powerful. Uh, I'm going to play a forest and say go. I cut down a number of planes here, so it's harder to find. There's only three in this list. So let's add in Syracuse said four. So i got to do more searching with my fetches. That's that's just a lot of waste of time. I know. Yeah, I would probably add the fourth one in just to save some time. Not much for intentional draws, though. Yeah. Oh, my Lord. Um, let me flash check this. All right. We're gonna draw something sweet. Didn't. Oh, uh, whatever. Two damage. All right, I'm at eighteen. All right, draw. All right, we did get the the other land, so the Sylvan carry to it's gonna be out for business, but. Hopefully doing yeah, a lot of sweet things in the way. turns to come. All right. I'm going to decide if I want to wait a turn on, on my monster mentor here or just jam it out. The upside of just jamming out is very high. Uh, <laughs> but what can he kill it with? In the dark, I wouldn't know. But he doesn't have Bob Light or his downfall mana, so it looks kind of safe. Let's activate that first, though. All right. Uh, I'm not going to block because mm. I don't... I really Scared. can't <laughs> risk losing my Sylvan carry, Ted, so. Yeah, good. All right, so you're at 18? Yep, good. All right, come on, Duck. The fear of Defiant Strike stopped him. Draw. Um, all right, well, we'll start things off with a Seder Wayfinder. Hmm. All right. Don't want to do it. Ooh, come and play Tap Land. Hmm. Means you can't murder Scud. All right, I guess we'll take the Temple of Silence. And I am going to cast a Thoughtseize. Yeah. So I'm down to 14. And it's fairly Thoughtseize proof here. Oh, jeez. All right, well, that's really bad for me. Uh, we're definitely not taking that favorite Hoplite, so we'll just take one of your God's Willings. God's Willing down. And then I'm going to Scry. And... See, I think that I just. I think I keep this on top. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and keep that on top. We'll say go. I don't know if that's the right thing to do, but I really don't want to fire off these gods willing for nothing. But I don't really have any action going on. I'm gonna give it a turn. I'm gonna draw something sweet though. Hmm. That's a card. Just kidding, it's not. 
Alright, well, I'm just going to not block here and preserve my wayfinder for later. You didn't think that much. Alright, so I take down to 10. Yo. Okay. Yeah. Right. Missing someone? You, have you been taking two from this? It's only one. Oh, it's only one. Life, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I took two the first time and just kept taking two. Alright, so we know he has a... Uh, all right, well, I'll start with the Scryland and see what we get from that. Hmm. I think that this card is actually going to be good because of what we know. Like, because he has that Monastery Mentor, I think that this is actually going to be good against him. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that on top, and I'm just going to go ahead and cast a Siege Rhino. So I'm at 15, and you're at 15. True. And you're up. I need that good old Jerukus Command that's actually built around. No. All right, we need him to Got not him. draw a Jerukus Command. <laughs> That's our uh, game plan here. Hmm. Well, I'm going to keep playing last because I do have Courage Cruise in my deck. It's a, it's a lot of mana confluences. Right, I just got to sit around until I draw a card draw spell or some more triggering things. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're going to draw this, but I don't think that this... I don't know if this is actually what we want to play this turn. I don't think it is. I think we'd rather just cast uh, another Seder Wayfinder. And see what that yields for us. Alright. Um well I'm gonna take the herb work here. Sweet, I got peace for whatever I want. That's true. Uh just actually that that is true. I should probably not take that herb work. Change your decision, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. Uh I mean having access to another black source is pretty good with my hand, but I think that Well I guess I'll take the wind swept tooth. I don't know if taking an extra point of damage is better than having a forest, but um, it's probably better if I have like draw a courser at some point to have the one swept teeth. And then I am just going to say go. Ooh, good point. I'll play it anyway. All right. All right, go. All right. I like how this game is shaping up at this point. Draw and speak of the devil. Hmm. I could play this, but again, it doesn't really do anything. Um, I think I'm better just playing this and trying to like dig our way through the deck. And I think I would want to keep that on top, so I am just going to say go. Right. Basically, need a treasure cruise this one. Call back in. I can't really attack because his Trailblazer blocks Rhino, and I'd rather have it on defense anyway because it's preventing him from being able to profitably attack as well. Alright. Alright, try it again. Go. <laughs> Alright, I will draw a Hornet Queen, and. Oh, I really want that whip too, so. I don't have anything to whip back, but. Just being able to gain life seems really convenient. Um, I'm going to actually attack with Siege Rhino. Look at this man. A bob I trade with my god for him. Oh. Probably do more each time. Kill my thing. Mm. I think I'm in the market for taking four. I'll probably just block a whole bunch of stuff. Be three, SB two, SB one. We can order it. That first, just live. And I'll take one. And so this will die. And then my token will die. But if we put the second, I can just save this, so nothing will die. Because Rhino will die. All right, block everything. All right. So two, three, four. All right. So you're currently putting four damage on Siege Rhino. Uh, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna order your. All right, whatever. Uh, I will order your. I guess mentor then favorite hoplite then trailblazer. Hmm. That does not suck. Whatever. Gotcha. Okay, so you're down to thirteen. Circle on 
sure what they got to them. Okay. Keep this guy on. Alright, you get one of these sweet new Jacob Wilson tokens that will be available soon in the open series. Yeah, it's better not. Alright. Alright, um, I'm going to res actually, sorry, I, I want to, uh, I was going to respond to your uh, God's Willing, but... Okay, all right. You can respond? Yeah. I can uh, bottom or anything? All right, I'm going to downfall your monastery mentor in response to the will of God's Willing. This is before my token comes in play? Um, tokens in play. It's fine. Whatever, God's Willing is again. All right, I'll respond to that with a murderous cut. All okay, right. Dead. Actually, I can't. Yeah, that's fine. I should probably leave. Oh, no, I have to. I have to tap that for a minute. So, uh, we'll exile these and. So that's a two-two. Yeah. And then this guy is gonna die yeah, from the siege runner. And I'll say go. There we go. Okay. Getting somewhere now. Two twos here. They're probably gonna battle. Let's battle. Let's do this. All right. Alright, uh, well, I'm gonna block here and block here. Nothing happens. Okay. Damages. Really need to draw an instant. So I go to 13. Yeah, if you drew an instant, uh, that would have been bad for me. I feel like I'm too far behind and not do anything. Okay, cool. Alright. We'll untap and draw the whip. There's a land, so I'll play the land and go to 14. That's what I got. I'll fetch. Stay at 14. And that is my last basic. Something I have to be mindful of. Yeah, I got one left in my deck myself. <laughs> so if I uh, I can't fetch anymore, especially since my herb org is in my exile pile. And I am going to cast Hornet Corn. Reasonable. And make some. Find insect tokens, and I'm gonna attack with. Uh, oh, wait, I should see the top of my deck. Yeah, I'll attack both of these. I need to block in such a way where I don't die to all these insects on the following turn. All right, block my guy. Okay, take four down to nine. You're up. Ooh, all right. <laughs> I might be dead. I hope. Maybe. I hope not. Jeez. Okay. All right. Looking alive seems great. Just flood strand, which is dead. Okay. Yeah, he's a T2. Yes. Take a damage. Eight. Yep. Hmm. I need an herb board now. Um, I'll trade, trade Dick the Wolfing for it. Yeah, let's see if you're blocking. Stay away from it. This is all assuming I draw a God's Willing, which I use three of already. Mm. Yeah. Seems unlikely. I'm probably just going to get it anyway. Alright, let's do it. Okay. Draw two. Ooh, that's a reason to play land. No, that wasn't. Alright, All right, uh, I'll block an insect here and a safe wayfinder here. What's it all about? Five, some. Alright, so this dies and Satyr's down. That guy's still alive. Yes, he Give me a foolish. Okay, so you're at seven. Okay. And a seeker. Okay. And you have two cards left? Sure do. Alright. 
right, I'll draw this. That's on top. Uh, play it and gain a life. Go to 15. Uh, I'm going to cast a Doomwake Giant. Okay. Giant's presence. Okay. Alright. Alright, so trigger this and then play this and trigger Doom Like Giant again. So that's down, that guy's down. Yep. Um And I guess I'll attack you with I don't think I want to attack on the ground here. It's only two two. I think you can kill me. I guess let's see if I attack here, you take an extra two. So you take five, six, seven. Oh yeah, you're at six. Yeah, you're right. So, yep. <laughs> All right, we are back for game number two. So I don't have any early creatures here, but I think I can manage. Like this might be a turn four play, but hopefully I just find a creature for them. Keep it. Okay. Uh, my hand's actually phenomenally good, so I'm definitely gonna keep this. <laughs> bothering, bothering any non-creature except for Defy Strike. Okay, go. Alright, I'll draw and play Sand Steps that are on Sega. I'm probably going to tell us these. Hmm. Yeah, 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 I guess. What about my plane? Let me get to the bottom for a second. Go. Alright, the old Laguna Band Trailblazer is out there. Um. Hmm. I'll just play this and play a Sylvan Carry to in Europe. Well, hmm. oh, what to do? <laughs> Probably attacking. I'm going against the top. Only a couple of them. Dick. All right. Um. I mean, I could block here, but it just seems like an unnecessary risk. Uh, because I'm currently taking zero from it, so I'm just gonna not block. If he wants to like pump into it, then that's fine. But I don't want to risk losing my carry tit for nothing. I'm gonna do a risky do nothing. Go. Okay. <laughs> that is. Uh. That was. That was a powerful line there. Um. Okay. Well. I am going to start things off with a commune with the gods. Okay. Let's see what we get from that. Uh, I don't really care about a Seder Wayfinder, so I'm going to take a closer crew fix. And I am going to then just play another Sandstep Citadel and say go. Crash keys here. Alright, so 18 for you? Yep. I don't want to draw another land. How far are these islands? Not really. Not yet. Okay. And spill. Right. Come on, not spill. <laughs> Spill. Yep. Go. Oh, so attacked. Probably would have taken zero again. Yeah. Draw. Most likely outcome. I want to draw a land now. Uh, so hmm. it wouldn't be the worst. Well, I think I just play Siege Rhino. Pretty sure Siege Rhino is one of those cards where you just cast it whenever you can, pretty much. Uh, so you're 15, I'm at 23. Uh, here you go. Ooh. I need to start burning these now. Hmm. 
Yeah. Hmm. Well, I'm just gonna block here and force him to do something. Yeah, I'm doing stuff. Alright. <laughs> I believe it. I'm just gonna burn all my cards. Cut it on. Okay. All right. So you get a monk loader. So I got three three currently. Yeah, you have three three. And my giant presence right there. Hmm. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, so I got five five. All right. So I take two. Uh, yes. Down to twenty one. Okay. Let's go. All right. Draw. Right, start with a courser of crew fix. Hmm. Yep. Um, no, I don't really want to. I want to keep that on top, so I'm going to play a one swift teeth and gain a life. At 22, and I'll just say go. Thankfully, my life total is still reasonably high here, so you know, even if ridiculous things happen, I'm still like not in the worst shape. All right, well, I'm gonna block there, and I guess I'll block. I don't really want to lose my carry to it, uh, so we'll just block like this. Burning cards for prowess here. Got to win the trailblazer. Yo. Uh, sure, that's fine. Don't do anything. Uh, pro black. Sure. I got another Jacob Wilson. Yep. Yeah. There's a lot of Jacob Wilson. Uh, well, I have to respond to that. To you have one card left in your hand. No. Yep. To keep my courser, um, I am going to murderous cut your uh, monastery mentor in response. I think I'll take a little screw on the stack, so I'll put that there. Yep. Okay, this does. This goes up like a scrub again. Yeah, it resolves. Okay, I'll do a. So you cast two spells, those are threes. And this is a three as well? Yeah. Do you leave it on top with a scroll? No, I'm bottom of it. Okay. So I take nine. Yeah. I'm at 13. I haven't played land yet. I don't want to. I can talk to you to be tragic. Okay. Alright, I will draw Siege Rhino and Land War Wastes. I'll play it and gain a life. 14. Uh -huh. Um, just gonna go ahead and cast Siege Rhino. Fair enough. So I go to 17 and you go to 11. Uh -huh. And I don't think that I want to do anything else, so I am just going to say go. Need your command real bad. Need you to not draw your command. <laughs> the 
to this thing. Herbold over there, huh? Yep. This, this. Sure, that's in there. Yes, this. Um, I am going to respond to that with a murderous cut. Minor shell blazer. That's unfortunate. Going to four. Has another trigger happening. I'm gonna look on. And I think that's. Yeah, that's bomb. Now the Antoine gets good old spells. All right, so that is three God's Willings and two Presences. So, right, so we are reasonably safe the rest of the game from those cards. Three to threes. Yep. And this is purple rock. Right? Threes are probably attacking. So I'm just gonna try to spike another instant on you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright, I'm just going to make the only real block I think I can make, which is block two of these. Can you take 12? Yeah, I take 12 down to 5. One of those. Uh, one, you keep one of them. One of those. Sure. Okay. Yeah. All right, my upkeep, I'm going to fetch and stay at five, so I don't want to draw one swap teeth. And I'm just going to get eight planes. Um, I probably already went over my planes. All right, we'll just get a force then. And draw forests. Nation savage. You have one card? I do. Alright. Well, I'll play forest and gain a life. Go to six. Cast whip. I'll whip back siege right now. Mm -hmm. uh, I go to nine, you go to eight. Alright. And. Hmm. Let's see. I guess I'll attack with. Can I attack with everything, or is that just that's probably really bad? I'll attack with just these two. But for all, uh, Marcus Man or Scott or something, that's what's going on. Okay, so trample for two. So you go to two, and I go to uh mm. seventeen. Right, I oh, think so. Like yeah, and uh, end of turn, it's exiled. Yep. Alright, that's uh, good news for me. <clears throat> Draw a siege. Top cards of thought is. Um, I don't really want to draw Thoughtseize, so let's whip back. Set a Wayfinder. Okay. One, two, three, four. All right, we bricked, but Sadisi is a good one to put into a graveyard, so okay with that. Uh, I'll play this and gain one. So 18, scry to the bottom. I don't think I can attack profitably here, right. so I'm just going to send this guy in. <clears throat> okay, okay, go to 19, and you're up. Do I know about your name? Um, I think you probably know, I know you, you know this for sure. Sage, okay. I don't think you know this one yet. Okay. Let's just save that. Maybe not. Go. Okay. I will draw a Courser. Uh, play a Land or Waste. Gain one. 20. 
Hmm. Downfall's a good draw. Hmm, you got two. I guess I just tap this for mana and sacrifice it. Yeah, I should tap it for mana. Yeah. I guess we'll whip back CDC. Um, exploit this. So search for a card. I'm gonna get this actually. Seems like an interesting one. Alright. Uh, top card is a forest. And I think I did play land already. Uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna cast a morph. And then unmorph den protector. Alright. And get back murderous cuts. And I'm gonna attempt to cut your trailblazer. Okay. <clears throat> and then attack you with Yeah, all of them. And I take it. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we are back for sideboarding. Uh, for myself, I'm going to be cutting a lot of my enchantments because even though he hasn't drawn any yet, he does mm -hmm. play uh, Dromokas commands in his deck, uh, and I don't want to basically get wrecked by a command. And when I'm playing like Whip and Doom Wake Giant, like those are turns where he can just blow me out with a two for one Dromokas command. Um, mm -hmm. You know, make me sacrifice my Doom Wake and fight my, you know, other creature or whatever things like that. So uh, I want to board out a lot of my enchantments. I'm boarding out one Courser as well, but I am leaving in a few because they are just like a good card advantage engine at, at various points in the game, um, especially at, you know if I can use a Thoughtseize to strip a command or if he's already used one or whatever. And then I'm bringing in like all my removal spells, uh, six removal spells to Thoughtseize, which is really good against this deck. And then I am bringing in a Farika, which um, <clears throat> without Doom Egg Giant, it's not going to be as effective as in like terms of killing his creatures, but I feel like Freka, some of the games might get like a little grindier. I feel like Freka can help me grind him out by providing snakes to trade with his guys. Well, I'm sideboarding pretty lightly. Um, just three for three. Um, I won't I expect the game to go longer. I'm taking out land because like uh, it's gonna be thought season me more and just trying to contain my, my hand and my creatures. I wanna keep like a good density of spells. Yep. Uh, cards like Treasure Cruise, Monster Mentor help that. Um, just one Aquas form. I expect the ground to get gummed up some, but uh, I don't want the you know, it's not exactly a card that goes one for one. It costs a card literally to play it. Um, the down here, like more considerations based based on whether I'm on the draw or whatever, or maybe have besides when if I see like fleece main line, maybe bring in glare heresy. Um, if I expect him to lower his curve somewhat, so I don't think strokes where I want to be in, in case I don't really hit uh, many good things except for siege rhino. Um, if, if I see a ton of spells, I'm assuming I'm not looking at this right now, but if I see a ton of spells, maybe stubborn now is a uh, consideration or. If the game gets really gummed up, I'll bring another aqueous form. But right now, I'm just taking out a couple of the smaller creatures. Secret doesn't do much, but I do need a good density of creatures. And hopefully, this probably not one land won't bite me, but I don't think it will. Yeah, like if you had had access to aqueous form, uh, like in the second game, you probably would have won. But yeah, you don't want to have too many because I'm definitely bringing in removal as well. Yeah, in, in high synergy based decks, you you do make a mistake by sideboarding too much, and it's something I really don't want to do. I want to I want him to react to what I'm doing, not like bring in a bunch of reactive cards. Yeah, Especially when I'm on the play for this game. Yeah, I mean, that's that seems like it plays into my strategy as well. So. Yeah. I'm going to play here for game three. What I got? A one-lander. Oh, I like get it. It's, it's what one-lander should be. I'm going to keep it. A bunch of Defiant Strikes and Protection Spells. Well, better ones I've seen. Okay. Um, my hand is pretty solid. Uh, the mana's not great, but the hand's solid, so I'm going to keep the for okay, I will just play this and say go. Okay. Oh, let's see. Um, yeah, I think there's one. Take the go off. Uh, don't wanna. 
do anything though. I think it's better. I got 19 all. Go. All right, I'm gonna go to 18 and play Silver Terror. To your turn. All right, it's a good opportunity to cast Defiant Strike. Okay. Get three down. Draw this Regila Sasa. Draw another land. I'm definitely casting. If I don't, then I have to make a decision. Close. If I jam it out there and it dies, I'm bad of shaping my hand. If I, if I cast ordeal and don't draw an untap land, how bad am I off? I don't think it's that bad. I could just sit here and play Defiant Strike, so that's probably better. Because it's not quite risky. Cut. Looks like I would have drawn the land, but what can you do? Okay, so 17. Yeah. Alright, uh, I take uh, 4. 4 4. Go to 14. I'm going to cast this. Okay, so I'm going to take at least 6 then. Yeah. So I go to 12. All right, come on, deck. That's not the worst. Um, wasn't exactly what I was looking for. But... Operating all cylinders over here now. All right, I take a damage down to eleven. Cast a closer prefix. Right, that is what I was looking for. I'll go to twelve and scry. Yep. And I will keep that on top. And your turn. I think I just want to hit them hard though. Okay. Doesn't seem like it has a uh, faulties anyway. Otherwise, it would play on turn one, but still not just gonna fire off a Johnny's presences for no good reason. Uh, put a counter on this and do a sacrifice. Right. Well, it doesn't matter what I do. Yeah, same either way. Yeah, yeah kind of on this. Okay. Six. So I go to six. Yep, yeah, go. Um, so we'll draw this. Uh, I'll go to five and then up to eight. Eight. You're at 13. And I'll play Temple of Melody and Scry. Yeah, I think I want this card. Uh, actually, maybe I don't because I'm at eight. Yeah, I think I'm actually. I think I actually have the bottom that. You're up. There is a chance I'm just dead here, but I'm hoping that's not the case. Yeah, this will do it. Uh, for black. Okay. Oh, not too much. Yep, yeah, that does it. This is like nine. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> All right, we're here for game four, and I am up this game. And three, six, seven. Well, this hand is a hand. Um, I'm going to keep it, but it's not particularly exciting. I'm going to keep two. Uh, it only has one creature, but a lot of my hands only have one creature. I have a scry land and a bunch of draw steps in case I get thought to use or it dies. So, All right, well, I am actually going to lead because I, I'm going to go this on turn one and then this plus this on turn two. So we're actually going to go to 17 and Thoughts Easy. All right. That's getting got. Uh, I am going to take Hero of Iroas. Um, and then, see, so you have two strikes, one ordeal, two heath, and a temple. You're up. All right. Um, no, I'm gonna go to 14. I thought it's easier. Don't know if you want it or not. I do want it. I'll take it. He did keep the card on top, so maybe it's another creature. But I still just have to take the creature here, and then I'm gonna scry. This is the best way to beat this deck. And put that on the bottom. And your turn. Um, 
Just me playing as the creature. It's unfortunate. Done. Alright, on top. Draw. An interesting draw. And we'll play a morph. And you're up. Okay, this is the final strike in the turn. Sure. So it's pretty unfortunate for us that he drew another creature, but um, it is what it is. Fetch before we do anything else. Can we bring that up again? Yep. Okay. And our dealer protection spell. Okay. Hmm. Stuff. I'll, I'll take it. Three. Yeah, I'll take three. And eleven. Your turn. Alright. Well draw. It's not what I was looking for. Hope you got a bunch of wild lights. Let's play this. Uh, let's go ahead and unmorph Den Protector. Returning Thought Seas. Okay. And Thought Seas, you. Go to 9. Okay. Well, this is really bad news. Um, yeah, I agree. That's <laughs> one of the worst things I could have seen. Um, what nine? Well, I have to take Aquas form because I'm just dead to it. So it's unfortunate, not the card I wanted to, wanted to have to take, but I will take Aquas form. And then I'm not blocking, so I'll take you for three. You're up. I'll be pretty constrained on mana next turn, so I'm gonna fire this off. Good. <clears throat> hmm. I want to do this. So I have another threat going on just in case this thing dies. Or I could just reveal it. Get you six, get you three. And if I draw well, I might kill you. I want to draw well. How do I put that? I put that B. Probably. Hang on, I think it's not. I think it's code divided by the last Six. That's the debug from my Alright. Cut. Let's see if I draw. Nope. No. Alright, take six down to three. Let me just cast this. That's my turn of this four. Yeah. Alright, go. Alright. Um it's not good position for me. That was a card that is good against him, but not right now. <clears throat> so we know he has drunk his commands. Think that I am just dead. I don't think that there is an out for me here. Uh, just cast this, go to two. And I can't sack her, I'm just dead, but I think I'm dead anyway, so we'll say go. I'll just fight that then. It'll be a free four. Let's cast it. Yeah, power on this, this, this. Yep. 
Yep, I'm dead. All right, we're here for game number five, and I am up first. All right, this hand looks great, so I'm going to keep it. It looks exactly like the last hand. I'm going to keep it. All right, we'll start things off with a scry, and uh, since I have the Seder Wayfinder, I think I can afford to bottom that. So, you're up. This hand is looking for a second creature pretty bad. The first one tends to die. Use the Thought Seize or some spell. There it is. Yep. Oh, sorry. It was that. All right. Uh, draw this. It's not what we were looking for, but it's fine. Uh, I'll start by fetching down to 19. And just get a planes. And then I'm going to cast a Seder Wayfinder. Let's see what see what he hits for us. I have a feeling this will be the best game so far. Hope so. <laughs> Alright, Wayfinder. It is. Uh, hmm. Well, I think I'll just take the temple here since it's going to help me fix my draws. And your turn. Planes, but I'll get my thin on. Trust the guy. Alright, draw ahead. Alright, so 19, all draw. <sighs> hmm. This will start with a scry. Well, I'm just gonna keep that on top and <laughs> hope that works. So, uh, we'll, we'll see. I'll murderous cut your. Uh, Guy, I'm gonna keep Bioblight in my graveyard in case then protect her later on. Reasonable. And hit you for one. You're up. Okay. Give me the blue source I'm kind of looking for. I think that's what we get now. So you're at 17. Hero of Iros, alright. Well, I am just gonna cast a siege right now. Okay. So fourteen to twenty-two, you're up. Let's see what I can do about this. Try to kill it eventually. Let me five strike this way. Okay. What if this island will hurt you? Probably not. Counter on this, this fights this. So I guess two counters. One okay. for work, one for normal. Sure. Yep. Uh, do I attack? No, I don't think. Go. Okay. If he yeah. attacks there, I can just block the Seder Wayfinder and it forces him to play another spell. Yeah. Which he maybe doesn't want to do. Uh, I'm going to start with this Temple to Scry and I'm going to bottom this because um, we really don't want that. And I'm just going to play another Siege right now. Okay. So eleven to twenty-five, and you're up. You might need a game like this game. Let's see. Jesus. You might have started one of these out too. <laughs> I don't know if I can attack yet. Probably can't. Administrator too. Sure. Okay, these cards are all great. It's bad for me. I don't know how many I can deploy though. My next turn would be pretty good. This turn, I don't think I can do anything. There we go. Alright, draw. Oh, that was actually a good draw. <clears throat> I'm gonna have a, a haymaker play like a corner queen or something. That should be okay. Fine. Pretty tough. Oh, I guess I could cast this. Oh well. Uh, cast a DC. Alright. Exploit. Uh, yep, that's all happened. Alright, I'll sack this and search. Uh, Alright, so. It's the worst part for me. Guard. Well, I don't know. Let's see. It, I think it's either this. Or um, this, and I think this is better because of Dramoka's command. So we're just gonna get this. Uh, 
And I'll play this against Step Citadel. And say go. I've been firing off five strikes. I think Vinny should be doing it this time. I do kind of want to draw a land now. I need all six on mana. Okay, sure. It's colorless though. I think it doesn't matter. Chirp. Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, a million cards in your hand? I beat. Alright, well, I want to put CDC here and force him to use a protection spell. Okay. Yep, so he's down. Nothing on top, so it can't be fetching. Yep, Seeker. Alright, draw. Was not the best draw. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and attack you with Seeker right now. Counts up. Uh, All right, so you're at seven. At seven twenty-five, uh, I'm gonna play one coin. Okay, and get some insects. You're up. I'm gonna attack you a few times with the seven twenty-five. Seven twenty-five. Yep. Seeker needs a game, he's a life. Uh, Alright, so he's already played, I guess, just one God's Willing. So. Okay. This one on this. Oh, that's bad for me. Got 33 secret away. Pretty sure that's exactly. That's right on our clip. Sure. Yeah, that's a good one. But I'm gonna do about it. Yeah, let's do that. That just hangs out. Okay. All right, I'm gonna block seeker. It's going to do a five strike and see if gains some life. Okay. So it's a five four at the moment. Okay. I'm gonna save it too. That would go to twelve. Feels good. Yeah, I'll save it. Okay, so it's six power. Green, yeah. Yeah, no, this card also good. Good. Okay. Uh, yeah, gain six life and you take. Nine. Yep, so I go to 14 and you go to. Oh, wait, I go to 16, 16. and you go to 12. Yeah. I'm six dead. Seeker, sure. Go. Draw. Hmm. A little exposed here, but. It might be alright. Attack. Okay, seven. I think five. Okay. All right. You're at five. Uh, cast a Corsair Crucifix. Okay. It's like the worst possible card to see on top of your deck. I'll cast a Seed right now. So nineteen to two. Yep. Your turn. I'm gonna take it pretty hard this turn. Alright, so basically we just need Seeker of the Way was probably the worst card he could have had. Uh, the worst cards he could have had against us, but it is what it is. Oh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not being bold. I'm black this turn. 
I'm sure. Any historical proof is pretty easy. Two mana. Yeah, that's pretty bad. That's gonna suck, though. That's good. <laughs> Make like a land have I? It's gonna go down to one. Matter of fact, no. Black. Sure. Sure. Yep. All right. Uh, well, I'll block two insects. I'll block each of your secrets with insects. Actually, hold on. What are you? What are you at right now? You're at two. So you're currently gaining six up to eight. No, he used to. I have an herb organ play. And, and those are three threes. I don't think I can block the siege run. I think I just do this. Currently gaining six. Probably need to gain more. We're taking nine. Do you own a one turn glow? Kind of. What if I gain eight and go to ten? Do I live? Kind of, not really. And then it casts two spells and you're a little. Go to 11. What's 11 do for me? You hit me. Can I chump one? Huh. Okay, it's that. I need to go to 11 piece. Maybe yep. I'll strike one of these. Sure. You only need a one strike. I don't need to draw that anyway. Yep. Uh, so, I'm going to go to the one next turn. I hope he has a block. He's going to block things now. He'll block a lot better. Won't lose my train of thought. Six, nine, dead to run out. Oh well, I guess. I'll cast this. Two things I can do. Whatever. Let's cast another spell. I'll start doing this. Sure. I gain 13. Got another little bit. Alright, so. You cast. How many spells did you cast? Three. Three. One of them was on this. Yeah, so 5, 10, 11. So you go to 13. And I take 10 down to 9. Okay, and these are both dead. Yeah, yeah. Draw this. That's my top card. Oops, I keep that Yeah, blocking stuff and things. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Six, seven, ten. All right, there's the blocks. Okay, so yeah, you take six, seven, eight, nine. Down to four. Yeah, from four. All right. I'm dead. I just have two carry tits, so. Right. I wonder if I knew about this. <laughs> you knew one. The other one I I drew earlier. Yeah. That was a good. That was a good game though. So. All right. We are here for the conclusion of our match. Uh, kind of an interesting one. I ended up winning both of the pre-board games where usually heroic is favored, right. and then you won all the post-board games where I think that this deck actually gains an edge. So. Yeah, I don't side very much in this two or three cards, four cards maybe. Uh, where you're siding in, like a, almost into a different strategy. Just kill all your stuff and just try to win with the scraps of what you have. Yeah, I side into like a thought seize removal spell strategy where I'm just trying to win with like rhinos and hornet queens and sadisis and things like that. Um, yeah, I 
I actually really liked this deck a lot. I felt like it was pretty sweet. Den Protector seemed actually really good. Mm -hmm. uh, I only, only saw it a few times, but it was, it was cool. Sidisi was great. Like, there's only one in the deck. Maybe it should be like another one because it just seems so good. Yeah, it is a very powerful card. Definitely push and definitely great with Cedar Wayfinder. But our games, uh, it was very different games with the ones I drew, Jermokin's Commands, and what I didn't. That's very true, yeah. Like, he, like, you drew a lot of cards in the first two games, but you didn't find a command. Uh, and I was able to like take over the game with whip and things, but um, like the games where you drew command, even just like that one game where I played like a siege rhino in turn four or whatever, and I just mm -hmm. died the next turn because you were able to fight it. Uh, like if you didn't have a command there, I could have you know maybe stabilized because I had a couple more rhinos in my hand. But uh, yeah, command is, is a big deal for that deck and really makes this matchup like bad <laughs> yeah. for this this kind of a deck. You can side out a bunch of enchantments, but. It doesn't matter if you have enchantment or not. It's going to have two good modes no matter what. Yeah, like putting a counter on your guys is always good, and then fighting is like going to be good either way as well. Um, but yeah, this is uh, this is actually a pretty sweet matchup. Like, I was worried that you would probably you might just steamroll me or vice versa, but uh, we actually had some interactive games. Like the last game was pretty sweet. Yeah. Um, but anyway, thank you all for watching. Make sure you uh, stay tuned for more articles and videos later this week. Uh, SCG Open this weekend is in Portland, where uh, P. Sully and Matthias will be commentating. And you can get a uh, sweet Jacob Wilson token or these sweet Polar Punch playmats. Uh, and yeah, hopefully we'll see you all there, or you can tune in on the coverage as well. All right. See you. Thank you all. See you.